Whitman showing you how to add a message to a Moodle course that will go to everybody who's enrolled for the course. So start by typing in the URL www.storydynamics.com slash courses. In return, here we am. Here we are. Notice right away you are not logged in. So I'll click on log in here. And now returning to this website, enter my username, which is Doug. My password is entered there already. I click on login. Takes a moment, I'm logged in. I know that I'm an administrator because over here it says turn editing on. So when I'm ready to change something, I can turn that on. But first, let's find the right course. If you see available courses is in the center here. And I scroll down. Storytelling Workshop in a Box is a course. Regular Edition, Story Thinking, Image Writing. There could be any number of these. But the one I'll use for today is my demonstration about Moodle. This is The software is called Moodle. So using Moodle made really simple. I click on that. And now I'm in the course lesson outline. I can turn the editing on if I want to change any of these things. I don't actually turn student view on to see what a student would see, not an administrator. Um, we're going to add a new topic over here in the latest news. See that? Click on add a new topic. And my new discussion topic is subject. I click in there and I make my subject. This is the subject of my important announcement. And then down here is the message. Lots of room down here to type a long message, but I'll make it kind of brief today. Uh, if I actually had anything to say, I'd say it here. Now, if I want to get fancy, I can do some formatting. Let's look over here at the simple things. Bold, italic, underline. You see how a little tag shows up saying what it is. Strike through. Look over here. Font color. So, if I wanted to say, if I actually, so I'll choose the word actual, and I'll click on B for bold. Now I'll unclick click somewhere else and see that now now this is actually in in bold. It's not necessarily important, but you can do all kinds of stuff to it. I scroll on down and notice over here it says mail now. If I click on that, then when I click post to forum, it'll post it to the forum and it'll mail to everybody in the course right away. If I unclick mail now and I post a forum, then I'll have 30 minutes to edit it before it goes out automatically. So post a forum, we're going to click on that. My post was successfully added. I have 30 minutes to edit it if you want to make any changes. It'll say that even if you had it mail right away. You can still have 30 minutes to change, but it'll already have been mailed the first way. So here it is. 12 February 2338. That's now. The date and the time. Doug Lippman is the person who did it. This is the subject of my important announcement. If I want to read more, I click here on more. Do that. And here's the whole subject. You see the subject is here, the whole message. If I actually see how nicely bold that is. I need to say it, say it here. If I want to edit, I click here, edit. And I can change something. Uh, so we can just add here or not. If I actually had anything, how about important? Click in there. Um, I'm going to scroll down. I will save changes. Notice there's no mail now anymore. Once you've, once you've uh, not chosen that the first time, you can't do it again. My post was updated. The continue happens automatically. If I were stuck there, I could do it. Now, I have the choice again of edit, reply, which is kind of silly, replying to myself. I can delete it if I say this is a oh, oh, wrong course, didn't mean to do it. Um, I can click there. 
to go back to the course, I go up here to using Moodle. And uh, here I am. I can turn student view on and see what the student sees. I've added a new topic. I've edited it. It's gone out to people or it will in half an hour. My job is done except time to log out. I log out. And I'm not logged in and I just see the front level of this site. I can't actually click on anything except my own name. That's all there is. Mm -hmm.